Hey there guys, what's going on? A very happy July 1st and the beginning of a new month to all of you out there today. Uh, with the beginning of a new month, of course, comes the beginning of new content for yours truly here on YouTube. It was a great, excellent 30 days prior to this. Did a lot of, of great content, a lot of great new stuff. Accumulated some wonderful views, new people, great stuff with the Jack White coverage, all kinds of things, all kinds of great stuff happened in the last 30 days. So I'm definitely looking to capitalize across the span of July here. And we're going to lead off today, we're going to kick off the first of this month with the first release, the preliminary single in vinyl unboxing form, as the title up there will tell you, of an artist, Ryan Adams, who <clears throat> has long been one of my favorite artists, despite his troubled background of temper tantrums and ill treatment of fans and a very checkered background to say the least. He's he's long been really a really great favorite of mine, someone who really defined an early part of who I was musically when I discovered him and really someone that introduced me to a lot of other styles, really taught me a lot about the country music genre as it pertained to Alt country and country were the sort of a rock edge, and that so much of that side of country music could be redeemable, even if maybe he doesn't find it so redeemable anymore. But really, really opened a lot of doors to my sense of genre at the time. So he's always held a beloved place in my heart, and I was very, very excited to uh, to break this out yesterday. In fact, and we are going to talk about the uh, the Give Me Something Good single for. Ryan Adams' upcoming self-titled album here in just a moment. Uh, but today is actually even a much more fitting time to fit this in because <clears throat> since between yesterday and today, there more information has leaked out, has come out that we can report in this video, which is very helpful, of course. Um, I believe, uh, I don't, I've not mentioned this, of course, since I've not done a, uh, a Ryan video other than other than the brief single coverage that I did, I'm going to openly contradict myself here uh, on camera, uh, where I believe I mentioned that when I reviewed the single, Give Me Something Good, that it was, it is, it is going to be on a record, is the first track on his self-titled record that is scheduled for a September 9th release. There we go, we, we finally got that information out there. Uh, but today, the, the cover art, which is terrible, the track listing, which is promising, thankfully, and a little bit more information came out as well as some pre-order info, some stuff. So today, really, uh, point being, today's a, a better day to talk about this because there's uh, some more stuff involved. Um, definitely some mixed feelings in regard to the new record. While there isn't much to know about it at this time other than this, pr this single and, you know, whatever, the track listing, getting early impressions from that. Maybe some live songs that were scattered out uh, when he played some Brit uh, shows in Britain last year. But other than that, it's it's a little bit sketchy at this point. The cover art, though, I will say again, is truly a horrendous thing. Uh, you can go and look it up because it's available for pre-order on iTunes, Amazon, and over on PaxAm, his label's website, uh, which, is, which is great, of course. But the album is just an early 70s creep show of way too close, I don't need to be that close to your face, kind of a kind of a deal. But yeah, check that out for, for yourself. Uh, and other than that, it's kind of a bummer that, uh, of course, the vinyl is available as well as the CD, and you will definitely be seeing vinyl coverage here for that when that gets released in September. Uh, but there is no deluxe package, there is really nothing in terms of a bonus, as opposed to Ashes and Fire the last time around, which had more of some bonuses and some other things with it, because uh, he used a completely different distributor at the time. Uh, but it was really disappointing. It was kind of a lackluster, disappointing package of stuff. So I, I don't know if he's just stripping it down to the basics and keeping it simple at this time. It is what it is, basically. Let us get to, to talking about this before I intro it anymore. Ryan Adams, give me something good. Bring it right up there. It's a cool little picture. You can see the, uh, his, little, his face and the, uh, the handle there. And uh, this is the this is single number 34 in a single series on Pac Sam. Apparently, there are going to be several more, perhaps with other songs to come from this record. Perhaps something else between now and September. It's hard to say. Ryan is not exactly a concise "this is what I'm doing" kind of a planner 
this is what you're going to be seeing. It's just kind of flying by the seat of your pants and losing half the time. But there will be more singles from that. So this is single number 34, Pac Sam, high fidelity recording, a little wallpaper action there. And on the back, we have Give Me Something Good with uh, Ryan Adams, Jeremy Stacy, Ben Montage, Tal Wilkenfield, and Mike Viola, who apparently is an associate who used to work on songs with Mandy Moore. So I guess that's the connection there with he and Ryan. And this is the, the back cover for that, which you definitely got to get in there nice and tight to really try to make sense of what's going on here with the, the pro stoner face, the anti-Reagan faces, and then the... Uh, the kitty cat there so you know, take your time with that one and on the b side aching for more which i will say right out to avoid any confusion will as long as copyright doesn't get involved will be a bonus video here to go along with this one that you will be seeing on my channel so go and check that out if you're interested in the music uh the b side aching for more Features Ryan Adams, Gus Seifert, Jeremy Stacy, Mike Viola, but also features a very interesting special guest. To offer it up to you as sort of a, a trivia question that I will just explain the question and the answer part to you that I offered to a, a few people yesterday who didn't pick up on it. It features a musician who is far better known as an actor, a very famous, world-renowned leading man, very handsome, gets prettier with time, one of those kind of guys, has a questionable choice in Tim Burton movies, that kind of a guy, but started out as a musician, coming to LA, a guitar player, all that stuff, not really the first way that anybody thinks of him. I actually saw him on the Letterman show playing with this particular musician a couple of years back, doing some guitar stuff, that was like the first time I really knew that about him. So. While I'm thinking you probably won't have guessed it in these these moments, I am just going to tell you now. He is our very own Jack Sparrow, our ill-advised Willy Wonka of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory's remake, the sidekick, as I said, to many Tim Burton ill-advised Tim Burton movies, and he was the Hunter S. Thompson of the recent Rum Diary, as I struggle to just think of apparently any movie role he was in, let alone any of the good ones. Uh, Benny and Jim. There you go. There's that one. It's Johnny Depp on, on oh, that, was, that was terrible, I apologize, on Electric Guitar and the solo. So, maybe Ryan is really starting to leave behind his uh, distorted and unhappy perception of country music in favor of really going all out L.A. with this one. But either way, it's, 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 it's very intriguing. It's, 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 it's many things. So much I'm stuttering, in fact. And I think it's a pretty cool little song, and you're definitely going to hear it next after this. Uh, but to wrap up here before we finish up, because we're getting a little bit long for time for just this little single, uh, on this side here we have, there is no download card, by the way. This is just a standard. feels like something you'd pick up on RSD, Record Store Day. Uh, on this we have the Blue Note, insignia he worked with blue note which is a nice touch for whatever may be coming ultimately and standard your standard 45 45 speed record obviously pax am logo and on the back for the aching for more side we have we have the kitty reappearing honestly as someone pointed out to me this morning they should have just gone with the kitty for the album cover instead of ryan's gigantic mug uh for the for the b-side for aching for more so there is that in very typical Ryan style. I think the only thing that was possibly missing was a marijuana leaf, but it very much pertains to him. The music is pretty good to go along with it, uh, but I'm going to try to save that and maybe do a little mini review of this coming up. So that's it for this little vinyl unboxing, me getting to talk about Ryan, one of my favorite artists. Um, had a lot of great success with him on my old YouTube page. Uh, did a video not too long ago for the Love is Hell reissue on vinyl. So if you like other Ryan stuff, I've got something else of his on my channel. Uh, but I have a lot more on, on this talking in my vlogs, of course. Uh, but keep it here for a lot more coverage. This is just the beginning uh, along with uh, the single. I keep forgetting that I did that. The the single video, the singles part one or part two. It's in, it's in one of those uh, that I talked about. Give me something good. Uh, but this is the... Vinyl version for the single. Expect a lot more of this to come as we get closer. Any new songs, new stuff, and of course, that scary-ass vinyl. I'll be right here holding it up to just give you all many nightmares. But until then, guys, lots more great stuff still to come here on my channel. Keep it tuned in. Keep subscribing. Keep watching. 
all of the above. Thank you so much to everybody out there, and stay tuned.